Hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so Virgo, let's see what you need to know. So there's some kind of judgment that's being had. I feel like it's about um, a woman and a child for some of you. Um, it could to do with this queen of swords and air sign, a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, you might have walked away from this person. This person could have walked away from you. I feel like you might have turned this um, person away as well. There could have been just some kind of conflict in this connection. Somebody felt stuck, like they couldn't move. Maybe they felt like they were in a prison with this person as well. This person kind of made you feel stuck. Um, this person definitely always had, I heard hands on you. They might've been handsy. Some of you, this person could be abusive to you and your child or vice versa. Take it as it resonates, doesn't have to be male or female. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to put something in a box that doesn't belong. Um, someone was being loyal, but the other person was not being loyal. And you are stuck because of this, because you didn't want to see the truth for what it was. You kind of disregarded. Um, somebody might have told you that this person was being um, intimate with somebody else, or they could have had somebody off in the distance you didn't know about. Well, you were off at home with your children, or there it, they had you in some kind of third party situation that someone kind of um, blew the horn on this and you didn't want to listen to it for a little bit but because you felt stuck some of you kind of shed the light on this yourself some of you kind of um had some kind of knowing so you kind of just found the strength to um say what you knew what you said and just kind of cutting this person out somebody um you decided to cut someone off because you saw them for who they are some of you this could have been a um past person that you had a deep connection with this could have been a fire sign um aries leo sag doesn't have to be could have been a water sign as well cancer scorpio pisces there was some kind of ending with this person Somebody's begging for this child and this woman, or this woman is begging for her children, pleading for this child, or vice versa, take it as it um, resonates. I feel like there's gonna be an ending to this, this um, woman begging for her children, or this person begging, being left out in the cold. Some of you got left out in the cold from this person. You might have had a child with this person and they kind of denied you um their cup of love like this is the ending some of you you were begging for this person and you're done begging for this person you've made some kind of judgment call you're seeing um this person for who they are yeah there's some kind of illusion there's about a thing stuck these are all in reverse. Like you've come out of this feeling stuck, feeling hurt by this, feeling left behind by this twin flame, um, this person you had a deep connection with. You're, you're over these illusions and you're kind of um, denying access, denied. So this person might try to come back and be very passionate with you. And I feel like some of you are gonna be hands and arms. Like you're just being very guarded. You could have been in a relationship with this person. Some of you are trying to manifest this person back in your life, but you're gonna um, be stronger than you were and you're kind of putting your boundaries up this time. So that way you can actually grow with this person. I feel like you are kind of freeing with, like you freely did whatever this person asked. You kind of jumped to their, jumped the gun with this person, some of you.
Yeah, some of you, when you this person comes back in to offer this, you're going to be a little guarded. You're you're going to make your, ultimately, you're going to make a decision because you see something for what it is. Um, some of you, this air sign or this um, water sign, you feel like it's a wish fulfillment. But you are going to definitely be very guarded. Even though you do see a, um, yourself being with this person and growing with this person, definitely could be a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This person could come to you at night as well. This person feels like you're a flashlight, like that lighthouse in the storm. Again, they feel like this ending had to happen, that there was some kind of ending. So that way this new beginning could ha happen. So this person can stop um, with this um, breadcrumbing. You, you needed to stop this begging. You needed to find your worth and um, so this ending needed to happen. This was all meant to be. Like when you stopped pouring into everybody else's cup and started pouring into your own cup, that's when you got this um, this victory where you can start to celebrate. This is a wish fulfillment. You're getting your wish fulfillment and you're gonna be celebrating very soon. You've been thinking about this for a while. This change that's coming in, this change you manifested you felt so burdened by this for a while trying to manifest this some of you had to go through a lot of heartbreak some of you had to go in um hermit mode and really like i said find your strength find your worth and no longer begging people because you're the star you're becoming very passionate very fiery and you're fighting for what you want you're working towards this um fresh start for some of you Some of you, you need to let go of this person. Like, you know you love them, but you need to let them go. Stop trying to communicate with this person. They're just um, denying you. They're not accepting your cup. Move away from this. There's no point in pouring out your cup into nothing. Like, you're just pouring it on the ground. They're not accepting. Like, they're turning their cup over. So stop trying to pour into something that's not for you. This is what's keeping you stuck. I know you feel like you've... Um, had this really deep connection with this person but sometimes it's just not for you this person is very deceitful this could be a gemini this is person is very um deceitful they say some really hurtful words too when you guys are fighting some of them they actually might block you because they're that juvenile is what i heard queen of cups um, this person is um, materialistic. They're all about the coins. For a lot of you, they just took and took and took from you. And they caused a lot of conflict. They were juggling you with the past person as well. While they were giving to you. While they were trying to have a new beginning with you, for some of you. Yeah. Some of you really need to let this person go. You already know who this person is. I feel like for some of you, they cause a lot of conflict. Some of you, this person could have been younger than you. Um, yeah, this past person could have definitely been a younger fire sign as well. The Wheel of Fortune, it's turning. The wheels are turning. Like, I feel like some of you are realizing this. Like, you're having your epiphany moment and you're picking your crown up and walking off for some of you. Yeah, you, you love them and it's taken you long to realize this. And to really... Like, you thought about this for a while and you just kind of had to rip the band-aid off of this. Like, you needed to move forward. And it took you a long time. Like, you were pondering this. Like, a lot of you, like I said, you knew... That you needed to move on from this person and the wheel of fate like fate is coming in like i feel like um the universe is coming in to like move you forward in the right direction like we're not going to let you keep being stuck in something that's not going to turn into a higher commitment like you want some of you want to be married to someone some you want to be able to claim this person you want to be able to show them off you don't want to have to hide this person in the background i feel like some of you in the past you've had to hide people you had to hide the fact that you were with this person and you didn't want that. Like you wanted to be able to like post this person up and um, 
this person didn't want you to do that because they were hiding. They had other people on. They had another empress on the line. And that was the truth. For some of you, you already knew this. They could have had a baby mama on the line. They were already working with someone else. They already had feelings for someone else. Some of you just wants to go back to sleep and pretend this is all just a dream, not that it's funny. Like you're just, you're over it. And some of you are cutting ties with this person is what I heard. Like you're done being left out in the cold by this person. And you're working on your pentacles. You're working towards something new. This is your tower moment. And it doesn't even have to be a bad tower moment. Like this is your chance to start fresh. This is your chance to start over and work towards something that's actually going to grow into something more. Some of you, you feel like the weight of the world is off your shoulders now that you let this go. Now that you moved forward. Some of you are starting to realize you have more options in love than you thought. But you need to let your guard down. You need, and you, some of you, you need to let go of these past people that are not working with for you, that are not moving forward, that are keeping you in this um, third party situation. You need to cut ties with some of these people. Yeah, they're just playing a game for some of you. What is their new person need to say to them? Let's see what Virgo's new person needs to say to them protected you are safe and divinely guided this person's going to want to protect you because you are such a guarded person this could be a cancer um this could be also a sad cherries that's coming in for you second chance this relationship deserves a second chance some of you this could be um another person coming in to try to do a second chance and they're going to be more stable play hard Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Also, I heard try to play hard to get. Some of you need to um, hold back a little bit before you move forward with this person. Um, hold back on the, uh, you know, extra, extra, extra activities. Obsession. Wait. Yeah, definitely. The timing is not right. I really feel like hold off on this. Um, or there could be um, like a little bit of a... Um, pause in between you two of you before you actually get to meet this person there's some kind of obsession someone is connect in this connection is going to be gripped with obsessive obsessive thoughts and it could be because you guys are holding off on the whole sex front which i think is a good thing it's not a bad thing what else does this new person want you to know virgo acceptance Ooh, trust everything happens for a reason trust that everything happens for a reason it is safe to trust this union so this new person that's coming in you're gonna be guarded you need to trust this new person that's coming in true love love this love is emotional physical unconditional you're gonna be there's not gonna be a rejection you're you're gonna have if there's any like you guys have warning flags. I feel like some of you might be throwing up flags because you're afraid of rejection. So you get into the state where you start to make up things in your head so that way you don't move forward with this person because you're so freaking guarded. Um, you've worked so hard to get past of being obsessive. Some of you, it took you a while to let your guard down and you're really up in your head about these options. You need to stop doing that. Some of you, this is what you need to work on put away the computer some of you are, you're overworking working on your coins too much and keeping away from yourself away from this person because you are um addicted to this person you're a little obsessive and it kind of scares you some of you it's going to be just strictly sexual when you meet this person that's why i feel like a lot of you are trying to play hard to get as well there's warning flags awakening someone is awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation discussion it's time to discuss about this relationship um different pages this person could be on a different page as you when you first meet this person past love past life love your soul remembers this intense connection so you guys could have known this person in a past life as well somebody is fearing of rejection new love a new lover or love or new love to the love last excuse me and new love or recommitment to love is developing so this new person i feel like it's going to take a little time don't rush into things wait like get to know this person 
the chemistry is definitely going to be there their attraction you guys are going to have is mutual and someone might try to interfere so this could be causing a disruption is what i heard interference could cause a um a distraction so it end up causing some time apart for the two of you this could end up this new person you meet could end up being marriage long term situation this person's going to be very supportive they're going to be patient this was definitely a faded destined partnership take the leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're considering love and light 